So how's everybody doing? For uh, for today's project, I'm gonna take these brand new heads, <clears throat> which on their on their own, they're they're pretty good heads. They're really good in my opinion. I don't know if we can see through that, but uh, they they came already uh, ported out. And as far as I can tell, I mean I could I could see straight through from the intake where the intake goes right through to the valve where the intake valve is which on their own they're pretty good size too so it came with a, a valve job but it also came with dual springs which i think you know in hindsight that's probably overkill for my situation so what i got going here i'm I went and got this wonderful tool from Harbor Freight. Now I don't I don't think this is the right tool for these. It doesn't work very well. I, it was it was very difficult trying to get these the keepers out of there using this. It just didn't align right. It was in my opinion not very not not the right tool for this job. So anyhow, I did manage to get them out as you can see. So they're all out. Um, you can see the smaller spring that would go like that. Um, from what I understand, this is for high rev, like racing situations. My motor is not set up for that. I'm not going for that. I, I just I want I want more power on it. I want more a better low end. Uh, I want it to rev up a little quicker. I want to be able to wind out third gear a little longer. You know, I want it to have some power in third gear as well. So, long story short, I'm getting rid of the small spring. I haven't checked it with the stock springs yet to see if I can just run it with just the bigger one. I'm guessing that's probably okay. I'm sure somebody out there has been in this situation and knows better than me, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, unless somebody tells me otherwise, I think that's the route I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with just the big springs on it and leave it at that. But with that said too, I don't know if you can tell that, but that hole is like out around that, that, and that, you know. It just just shouldn't be. I mean, it should be a nice, perfect circle, right? I mean, I mean that's that's common sense, right? So on that note, I'm going to be doing a little porting, just some very mild porting, and mostly what I want to do is round out that hole better. You can see, you know, and I'm going to use the gasket as a template. I think I can get away with that for my situation, at least to get these holes round and uh, a little more symmetrical. So what I'll do is I'll put the gasket on there, I'll trace that, I'll scratch it in there, and I'll just go around with, uh, uh, let's see, I've got one of these guys in here. I'll set it up in the die grinder. I think this will be the, the weapon of choice to get that. Like I said, I'm not going to go bonsai with it. I think they're already ported out pretty good in my opinion, especially for my setup. I mean, that, that, those are practically straight through. I mean, can you ask for better, right? Isn't that what you're going for, free flow? And same thing on the exhaust. I mean, you can see daylight straight through there. So, I mean, as far as porting out the head, I'm not really porting the head. I'm just fixing a little, in my opinion, is probably a manufacturer's error, so... I'll, I'll come back when I got that all rounder. So that's what it looks like now. So 
when I install this, when I, when I put this together, what I'm gonna have to make sure I do is pull everything tight towards what would be on this head. This would be, yeah, there's the, that would be the top of the motor. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm tight up against the studs here when I bolt it all down. That way the gasket, at least the gasket will be lined up. You can see, you can see the porting that I did in there. You can see the fresh grade marks. Like I said, just a mile little grind out, just to more or less correct, like a manufacturer, I'd call it, because it certainly was not. It was, it was, it was visibly not right. My next idea I'm toying with. Is that the right side? Yeah, that that would that that's that sign. That's how it will go on there. So anyhow, my, I'm toying with the idea of matching this as well. This this at least is round, so you can see that. So let's see if it goes on there this way. So if I pull it off like that. To get the gasket to go on the same way, Let's do a 180 around. It doesn't line up perfectly with the holes, but the idea here is it can flow, it'll flow through the manifold easy, you know, and then there's no basically a brick wall that it's gonna hit, there's no ledge. And, and that's, you know, that I could physically see there was definitely a ledge on this side. So anyhow, I don't want to make this too long. The, the long and short of it is that I did, there was a lip sticking out there. I ground it down. It at least, it's round and match, matches the gasket, if nothing else. You know, I'm not going for high performance here. I'm just going for... You know, to for the motor to do what it's supposed to do, without you know, with the least amount of uh, flaws as possible. This is at least round. I'm, I'm gonna run with that. I haven't quite looked down in there yet to see what's going on. I can't see anything with this phone. So, anyhow, let me get the other head out. I'm gonna throw the the valves back in this one with only the one big spring and then uh, I'll get it back together. I'll come back, I'll show you in the, the other head as well. Here's the other head. The holes here, they're at least mostly round, but there's some, you know, crazy chipping going on in there. Again, probably manufacture flaw, I don't know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm ex expecting too much perfection for what I'm getting here. <clears throat> so, I, I, again, I, I just traced the, uh, the gasket around there just to clean it up. I wanted to show you this, too. I don't recommend it. I don't even recommend using this type of clamp, but that was my you know, rig job to help me out here. It's especially hard because of the double springs it's hard to do this by hand especially one person so I just kind of held it there in a clamp and well you can guess the rest and I don't recommend trying that but anyhow the the main reason for this is is to get these holes at least to where the they're not being obstructed by the gasket if nothing else I don't you know I don't expect this to add anything to the horsepower I'm sure it wouldn't detract from it so so that's what I'm doing with that there it is like I said nothing 
Nothing too major, nothing drastic, just cleaning up a few flaws. And at the same time, getting rid of those, the second spring. I'm not going overboard. And, you know, I'm not gonna cam it out. I'm not, you know, I, I'm trying to balance everything. I'm, you know, I'm gonna weigh the pistons. I already, already weighed the rods. I went through the, the crank. That's all nice and round and it, you know it it checked out good with the micrometer so you know this is just another thing i'm fine tuning the heads are brand new so just had to clean them up get rid of that spring to work better with my application here so i'm gonna leave it at that